We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. We expect a good one out of this Diamond Dynasty matchup between the Bay Area and Indianapolis. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Juan Soto to the plate now. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's into center field for another base hit. And trouble's brewing here to start the ball game. And he's safe. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Hit weakly back to the mound. There's one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know, they do get the double play. Next will be the first, but not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hit. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. On the ground to third. Bryant's got it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. At the plate, Gavin Lux. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a high chopper over to the right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first down. Great recognition right there on the part of the hitter. Not many guys lay off that one. That was a classic strikeout pitch. The 0-2 good change up with some depth. So he got him swinging. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Soto is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. New inning set to get underway. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. The next 0 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that will bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Now the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna's there for it. Two gone. Now in the box, Gavin Lux. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. In two now. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Hey that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you tight maybe above the letters as well so it's a full count now three and two to short there's Baez throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired digging in now David Ortiz set to lead off the home half of the second first pitch of the at bat back up the middle throws in time and that's out number one So digging in now, Bryce Harper. Pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Griffey waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. Swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And that one is gone. No 
surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack. Left. Second. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Two. This is line to left. In there. A base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. One. Grounded up the first baseline. Reined in. And he is out on the tag. Oh, he's the guy that's got to beat me. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on him. Something a little more hittable. Now the 2-0 home. Lifted the other way out to left center. Peterson has a read on it. One away. Now to the... Here's another one-two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Right there, fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Oh, and he whiffs on it as it's by him at first. Make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Counts even at two. The pitch. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Here it comes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Soto is there, and he makes the catch for the out. to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now. Sometimes guys will chase it down there especially when they're and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. The 1-0. -oh. Pulled toward right center field. Acuna's there for it. One down. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. This is in the air out to left field. Peterson is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. It's time. Great changeup there in the dirt for the third strike. Fox goes to get it, but no chance to get him, and he'll take first after striking out. It's a pretty easy take there. He popped him up. And this one was tailing on him, but he was able to reach down, pull it in, and with it, the side is retired. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. Wants to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside, 3-2. and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Ball drops in there for a strike. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Hey, after the double is first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Sharp ground ball to third. And there's one down now. The 0 1 pitch. Drilled to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. The one two gets him looking strike three. Here's Javier Baez. And he's lofted in the air out toward right center. Lux calls for it. And 
that ends the inning. Balls and two strikes. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Lifted in the air out to right. Harper back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. And that's the third out. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that one is gone! Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Into the box now, David Ortiz. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Griffey waits on it. One down. Stepping into the box. Right into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Ready for another shot now. Jock Peterson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitch... Hit to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. The one-two. Locks him up for strike three. The one-two. Liner towards second. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Corner, it's 0-1. A hit in two tries for him so far. Popped him up. Here's Baez to make the catch, and that becomes out number two. Jordan Alvarez will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Your attention, please. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Harper will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Eric Gagne gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Acuna digs in now. He's working on a messed up into difficult situations, which is kind of what you want out of a bullpen arm. No doubt about it, Matty D. And I call a guy like this troubleshooters. Guys that you can bring into a game with runners in scoring position. They don't panic. They keep the game at a slow pace. And more importantly, they make good pitches to good hitters to get out of tough situations. Ian Happ will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four, so he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. From the stretch. One attempt, but this one might have too much on it. The second for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Stepping in, Javier Bayer. And there he goes towards second. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two-run game now. Now Here's Chris Bryant now. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Here comes another 0-2. 
Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. His front shoulder in and be able to recognize it. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. The fingers has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Finger. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping up as the shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Through that one, he's in control 0 and 2. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Posey is retired. Two down now. Action. The 0-2 once more. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Fox has it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Aroldis Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone to lead off the inning. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Ken Griffey Jr. will be next. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up on the first. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. When you're running it up there that hard but not consistently you still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time Castellanos will come on as a pinch hitter he takes this the other way to right that gets down and he's got himself a base hit so the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive Rogers Hornsby will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Your attention, please. He's hitting. Rogers up there at the plate in a one-run game. He doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Pro on to first, and the ball game is over. So no big surprise in this one. The higher division team comes in here and takes care of business. Nice job by them. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Dragons wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Denelson Lamette is the winning pitcher of record. Corey Kluber pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Yeah,